Mm -hmm. uh, this virtuous yeah. morality. Mm -hmm. Then there's that virus. Um, you know, it, it looks like that uh, mm -hmm. there's some supercomputers that are able to uh, uh, locate viruses. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I thought there was a certain family of half-breeds that happen to be half-wits. Right now, mm -hmm. you nitwit, Stephanie. <clears throat> You know, could you call me? Uh, could you could you call the employees of the Central Intelligence Agency? Yes. You know, the, well, just the thought of using the telephone system to impeach the president. <laughs> I think the CIA has spent too much money on technology. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's been said that you could actually sow a virus into a, a, a citizen. Yeah. <laughs> Through the computer. <laughs> As implausible as it seems, yes, we have designed viruses that when using a computer, the actual broadband that you're using can sow the virus into the individual, <clears throat> causing their premature death. Oh, coffin, C-O-F-F-I-N, yes. Now, I don't like being sewn into your infrastructure, yes. So if you could contact the CIA, I'd like to know anything you know about computer viruses. Yes. And not only do they infect the actual individual computers, yeah, they infect the computer user. Ooh, ooh. let's say you wanted to kill off most of humanity and they were all using a computer. Yeah. And instead of it just being a computer virus that causes the death to the hard drive, yes, the operating system's no longer operating. Yeah. It causes death to the computer user. Mm -hmm. Now, Stephanie, you worked at the CIA for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Did you have sex through any of the other employees of the Central Intelligence Agency? Mm -hmm. See, in Clallam County, their way of doing things is they screw each other. Right! Nitwits. Mm -hmm. Now, Homeland Security. <laughs> you had approximately $1.2 trillion since 2003. Yeah. Could you get me all the knowledge that you have about viruses that could infect an operating system? Yes. Any software? <laughs> or could be sewn into any individual that you wanted to have killed? <clears throat> now, there are a number of intelligence agencies throughout you. Oh, the Swedish intelligence, your top secret secret. <laughs> Nobody knows the identity of them. <laughs> could you call the king of Sweden? <laughs> it's Paul. You know, I like the idea of having ownership of other nations because royal families no longer have any property rights. <laughs> Could you find out for me right now, King of Sweden? <laughs> <laughs>